rivals, Sheboygan Christian. Hello, everybody. Alongside Jim Lipom, I'm Mike Martin. Uh, it's a rivalry game, but, uh, you know, it's hard to have a good rivalry when one team is much better than the other team. And uh, this year's Christian team just isn't what uh, what you'd like to have. Yeah, it's the uh, 100th and 104th uh, meeting between Lutheran and Christian. And you can say what you want with the records, and we always say this before Lutheran Christian game, is you can kind of throw the records out and make sure, you know, the game, you got to still play the game. And that's just the way Lutheran Christian games go. You don't ever want to take anything for granted, and I think uh, tonight's one of those times too. Brett Flipsy in his 27th year at the helm. He, I was talking to him before the game. He doesn't think he's the dean of coaches. He thinks Carl, our Brugank over at the uh, Woosburg might have a year or two up on him. But uh, coming into tonight, uh, the one thing that stood out for me was uh, Sheboygan Christian doesn't shoot it very good, and they create a lot, or they do call, uh, get a lot of turnovers. Yeah, well, Brett's been coaching for 27 years, and over here at Sheboygan Lutheran, a lot of respect for him. He's been, okay, he's had some ups and down years, but he's a well, one great coach over there, and uh, he's giving it all he can over at Christian, and we love to see him always on the sideline. Maybe not as a Crusader fan, but uh, as a Sheboygan Hoops fan, it's always great to see Brett Phillips. He does a lot with what he's got. He knows what he's doing, that's for sure. Yeah. Nick Verhagen coming into today's game is 16-6 uh, and six against Christian. Uh, it looks like he should win tonight, but and we talked a little bit about this before the game. One of the toughest things in coaching is to get your team ready for the next game after the last big game, and that last game for uh, Lutheran was that Kohler game. Yeah, there, Nick's entering his 12th year. They started off 12-0, and 0, and then they got uh, tripped up a little bit against Kohler. Let's see how they respond. They got, he's got a younger team too, with some sophomores and juniors and a couple seniors and a, couple, and a freshman. Let's see how they do and see how they uh, bounce back after a loss. The easy part's winning games, right? But if you lose one, how do you come back and uh, respond? Exactly. Uh, you guys got a kid on your team, uh, Andrew Krieger. He's been really lighting it up recently. I think he's got like four 20-point games in a row. Talk about him a little bit, Jim. Yeah, he's been the man. He's uh, shooting about 50% from three-point range. You'll see tonight, he gets that ball real quick and to go, like, he, not too much time to let that ball go. He, like, he gets it above his head and shoots that thing. You don't have much time to play defense on him. All One right. great shooter. Yeah. We're going to step out, and when we come back, we'll have the starting lineup and a national anthem for tonight's game. Hey, honey. We thought we'd try something new. Family on out. You <laughs> got jokes. You're funny. Learn about adopting a teen from foster care. You can't imagine the reward. Learn more at adoptuskids.org. It may sound funny, but hearing actually happens in our brains, not our ears. Our ears are like mail carriers that deliver sound, so our brains can figure out what's going on. Um, so what is going on? Well, it's pretty simple. When our ears work better, our brains hear better. And that's a happier thing. Like happy dance, happier. Hearing loss puts you at greater risk for dementia. So see a hearing professional and let's get those ears checked. I'm an ex-drug dealer and I'll be your sub today. Two milligrams of fentanyl can be lethal. A lethal dose is in here. Who gets it, I won't know. It's cheap, it's potent, and it's profitable. The sad reality is fentanyl is being mixed into everything now. More kitchen now. When it comes to making plans, you are the best. Remember the best planned 90 minutes of your life? Or that surprise party for your parents' golden anniversary? You get the golden planning. The same way you plan each detail for those moments, start planning to protect you and your loved ones from a natural disaster. Sign up for local weather and emergency alerts. Prepare an emergency kit and make a family communications plan. Protecting your family is the best plan you can make. 
When it comes to making plans, you are the best. Remember the best plan 90 minutes? Brock Zilstra starting along with uh, Jackson Keel. Their leading scorer, Cam Ferreno, number four. Also starting, he's a 5'11 sophomore. Number 11, Josh Kautzer is a 6'4 junior. And rounding out the starting lineup is number 34, Noah Atkinson, a 6'2 junior. Zilstra is a 6'6 junior and uh, Keel is a 6'2 junior. For the Lutheran Crusaders, Nolan Gerdaukas, number two, is a 6'2 senior. Number 13, Andrew Krieger, is a six-foot junior, averaging 17.7 points per game. Next on the starting lineup for uh, Lutheran is number 15, Elliot Leipom, a 6'1 senior. He's one of Jim's uh, sons. Also starting, had a real good game out at uh, Kohler the other night, is number 21, Jake Thomas, a six foot junior. And rounding out the uh, starting lineup, the leading scorer for the Crusaders, number 35, Brennan Hackbarth, a 6'3 sophomore. We talked a little bit about the uh, Kohler Lutheran game the other night out in Kohler that uh, Lutheran lost. It was a tight one. The final score of that game was, uh, I got it right here, 88 to 79. Uh, it's up to Nick Verhagen to get his team uh, off and running here, forgetting about the loss and worrying about this game here. Jim, I already let the cat out of the bag, told him your uh, son Elliot was starting. <laughs> the 104th meeting between Lutheran and Christian. Christian Marty, you probably, the tap, you, but, you probably uh, called a bunch of them, haven't you, Marty? Oh, a few in, a few in my day, you're for sure. We did for many years uh, call both games. It's like the North-South game, and then we had the Lutheran-Christian game. Sure. One was the war by the shore. This one was the holy war by the shore. There we go. Yeah. I graduated in 97, I remember. Marty calling our <laughs> games along with Stu. Marty and Stu. <laughs> yeah. 
Man-to-man -man defense playing, played by uh, Christian. Move inside by Thomas. No Pardon me, that was by Gerdakis. Gerdakis with nice, a nice move take. by him. Both teams playing man-to-man -man defense. Hackbarth rotating over. Shot was missed, Loose ball. but uh, put up and in on the rebound by number 11, Josh Kautzer. You like him. Yeah, Kautzer played a really good first game. There's Krieger. Andrew Krieger. You see that, he comes off that and he just quick release. Krieger we had mentioned is uh, really on a hot streak with uh, scoring. Yeah, he's average. 50% from three point range. And Down he's the middle even... of the shot by Kautzer is no good. Zilstra's putback is also no good. And Krieger amazingly misses a three. Good rotation around the outside looking for uh, Hackbarth inside. He gets it. Getting banged around. Slips through a double team and scores. Hack's got really good footwork. And if he gets rolling, he can, he can put the ball in the hoop. Probably the best part about uh, Hackbarth is he's a sophomore. Yeah, sometimes you forget about that. You know, you watch him play and you're like, wait, he's only a sophomore. Ball is tipped out of bounds. Hey. It'll stay with Move Christian. Seven to two with 16 minutes left. What we're saying too, let's see how good Christian takes care of the ball compared to the pressure that uh, Lutheran gives him. Rebound by Thomas. Good quick ball movement, uh, looking inside. Skip pass, shot from the corner is off, no good. Rebound to Keel. Lutheran will look to push it up the court every opportunity. They do, and then they, you know, Krieger can shoot, and even Elliott can get the ball up, and he can. Once he gets rocking on threes, he can put it in too. So they're fun to watch. Good rebound by Brennan Hackbarth. He's gonna get him with a travel there. Pretty good defense played by Christian. You bet, yep. They're playing their man to man and see if they can stay with him. Lutheran in there, one, three, one. That uh, defensive switch they did at Kohler really helped, they I did, thought. Yeah. Yep. Another shot missed. Elliot Lightbomb with the rebound. Lightbomb couldn't get it to go. Feet inside. The shot is off. No good by, by uh, Atkinson. Rebound by Thomas. Thomas taking it right to the basket, but. Uh, was tipped away, Lutheran will keep it. Set Krieger with three. a catch and shoot and nothing but the bottom of the net. His second three of the ball game, 10 to two. Set play there, got Krieger on top of the key and that quick release again. Is that a play the junior Crusaders run? We could <laughs> we, we we play a bunch of uh, run a lot of their plays too. It's always fun. I know the uh, grade schoolers are up top in the picture. Hackbarth from outside the line and he hits a three. Hack's been extending. Uh, he's been hitting a couple threes the past couple games. Good start for Lutheran. First time out for uh, for the uh, Eagles and uh, quick start for uh, Lutheran Jim. Yeah, they can get out. If, if they get out and start making their shots like they just did there, Krieger with two threes and then Hack drops one in there too. They're a tough team. Does, uh, you know, I haven't seen you as much as you've seen the, the, the fellas play, but uh, mm -hmm. how do they react when they have to go against a zone? Well, you know shooters like zones, right? So <laughs> <laughs> Krieger and Elliott are probably they love seeing a zone. Oh, they do, okay. Yeah. So 
that might not be a good option for uh, they just have to match up. Brett. <laughs> they better match up if they do a zone. Um, I think that's why Christian's in their man right now. Okay. Our uh, next game will be uh, the war by the shore on Saturday when uh, North invades Sheboygan South for the second uh, North-South contest of the season. All right. We look forward to that. Uh, I was looking. We do have a game on February 16th at South. That, however, is the night of the Kohler Lutheran game, which would be played here. Okay. And uh, depending on how things play out, uh, we might be here again. Uh, right. We'll just have to wait and see. We'd love to have you. Yes. The Kohler Lutheran game was a good one. Just always, for some reason, tough to win at Kohler. It was a huge crowd that night. It was. Good to see. Ball tipped out of bounds. Our crew tonight, we have Richard Bartson giving you that shot. Eric Wiesman on the floor camera. And Scott Mailoff is the leader of the band, our director. Shout Jim out Leipam to the guys. And myself bringing you the game. Shot from the outside is off, no good. Coach Verhagen got Oliver Leipam into the game. Oliver checks his feet there outside the line and he dumps in another three for uh, the Crusaders. That's their fourth three-point basket. Oliver and uh, Oliver Leipam and Zach Leonard, they can come in off the bench and get some quick points. They, uh, they're not afraid to shoot either. That shot inside is good. I believe that was by that Zilstra. Yep. Zilstra. Zilstra. Yes. Turnover by the Crusaders. Oh no. He threw that one out of bounds. Get him out of the game. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> What's interesting is when the players stop by us to check in. <laughs> Go on in. Yep. Yeah, we get sits courtside here. One person we haven't heard from yet is uh, Cam Ferreno, their high scorer. Lutheran back in man. Christian he doing had, a little bit of a weave there. Yeah, Ferreno had it inside, but uh, Krieger did a good job of defending him. And uh, the pass by Zilstra sails out of bounds. Checking in for uh, the Eagles is uh, Roseboom. And coming out is uh, Jackson Keel. It's always uh, interesting, too, because Lutheran plays soccer with the Christian school, too. So some of these guys are teammates, and Co now they're team? competitors. Shot inside by uh, Gerdaukas was blocked and then tipped out of bounds. Christian has it. Good start for the uh, Crusaders. They lead it by 12. Back to man to man. Christian going four high here. Perino had it for a second. He hasn't been uh, open much. Ball tipped away, but uh, Zilstra able to keep control. Got a shot is off, no good. Good look at the basket by Atkinson, but he couldn't get it to go in. And uh, that's something we talked about at the opening. Another three, Oliver Lipom. You gotta like that, Jim. There you go, Oliver. Oliver can flick that thing and let's go. Uh, Lutheran, as you can see, they got uh, Nolan on Kautzer and then Jake Thomas is doing a great job on number four. 19 to four is the score. Christian that's not able to get any baskets Oliver and Oliver Lipon. That was maybe the most impressive thing about Oliver at Kohler was driving it in the lane against the big guys and scoring. Yeah. we. Bucket by Atkinson. Yes. Long dry spell for uh, the Eagles. Looks 
looks like, are they in a zone? Oliver's oh, checking boy. himself. Oliver feeling it again. He has 11 points already. That a boy, Al. Zilstra has it, tries to get it inside to Ferrano, but it's tipped away. Good close out by Thomas. Shot no good, Oliver Leipom picks up the loose ball. Nick Verhagen uh, getting him lined up on a clear out for Oliver. Oh, nice drive, but couldn't get the left-handed to go, left-handed layup to go. Brendan Hackbarth with a baby hook and he makes it and he's fouled. Nice play by Brennan going up. Our first foul of the game committed yeah. by Atkinson. 10 minutes left in the first half. Players always say they'd never foul, right? So. Free throw attempt is no good by Hackbarth. That's one of the things where uh, Lutheran does pretty well as a team, shooting 67%. Yeah, they really worked on that uh, beginning of the season. And they get an offensive foul on Gerdaukas. I like Nolan is uh, going to the hoop there. You just got to watch it sometimes. Guys jump in front of you. 26 to six with a 9.46 left. Nolan's our defensive specialist there. Shot is no good and I'm, uh, while we were uh, talking, Jim, uh, Zach Leonard checked into the game. Sophomore. Yeah. Leonard committing that foul. Zach can get some hoops up quick too. There's a good Nolan. Good steal. Finish. No call. Nick Verhagen wanted a blocking call. Oh. Cam Ferreno got away with the uh, goaltending, no call, and then uh, Lutheran loses it out of bounds. Christian just having a little tough time getting the ball in the hoop. It's been a season long yeah. <laughs> malady. Lutheran in man to man here. Coulter had it on top. Hackbarth on the defense. Shot uh, off the top of the backboard. Zilstra able to gather it in it, and he puts it up and in. Good rebound. His second put back. basket of the game. Good rebound and put back there. Lipom from the corner. Hackbarth right back up and puts it in. And we get a call, a uh, timeout called by uh, Lutheran. You know, at some point, you'd think Christian would start to make a couple baskets, but uh, just, it's just not happening yeah, tonight. Yeah, they got a couple of good looks down. Little bunnies, too, and those aren't going in. They'll just have to keep on getting those shots up, and Lutheran's going to have to keep rebounding. Lutheran's done a good job pushing the ball up the court, finding their guy. Like I tell you, we got some guys that can shoot the ball, and... If they can hit him. Gerdaukas is not bashful. You know, when he gets out on the break, he no. wants to take it to the hoop. Well, look at what he just did there. He, he jumps that pass. He's been doing that a lot. Like, he just sees it and goes after that ball. It's, it's fun to watch him. Years ago, we covered South, and they had, uh, I think it was Aubrey Koistra and uh, TJ Grams. Oh, sure. And they would run this trap, full court pressing kind of trap thing. And one or the other knew just when to time the break to right. intercept the pass. And uh, it was a very effective defense for him. And uh, when you have that, uh, there's a good shot in the basket by uh, Keel. But yeah. when you can do that, boy, that makes a big difference. Oh, yeah. 
And uh, Lutheran definitely has that. Uh, Elliott almost had it, did have it tipped away, and Krieger fighting for it. We get a jump, and uh, it should be uh, Lutheran's ball. Yes, it is. Asa Diener in the ball game. Asa Senior. It's like a 1-3-1 one, one zone. They're trapping out of it, that's for sure. And they got a foul called on uh, Jamin Roseboom. Yep, changing it up a little bit on D and see if they can slow down Lutheran here. Hackbarth able to gather it back in off of errant pass and then he gets fouled on the putback attempt. Little tip off the backboard and go get it. Yeah. <laughs> Roseboom picks up his second foul. Hackbarth will be shooting a pair. He missed his only attempt earlier. Brennan is sophomore. Like we said before. And he makes the next one. Elliott back into the game for Krieger. The Crusaders are going to man. They've been in that all, uh, all half for the most part. Yeah, they did a little bit of that 1-3-1. One, one. Got a couple deflections off of it. Now let's get back in the man and see what we got. The Eagles working it around, finally taking the open shot, but not able to hit the three was uh, Jackson Keel. Hackbarth elevating there to get the rebound. Yeah. Leonard with a catch and shoot, but his shot doesn't go in. Zielster with the rebound. Leonard's one of those three-point shooters. He'll get the ball up. There you know, go, Hack. sometimes I wonder regarding uh, the shooting of Christian is they just don't take good shots sometimes. Whoa. Oliver Lipom didn't get that one to go. Hackbarth uh, tipped it out. Maybe that was tipped. <laughs> what? <laughs> what happened there, Jim? <laughs> Talk to me. We'll watch film on that later. We'll, have, we'll find out. <laughs> it wasn't the camera angle. I don't think so. Quick exit. <laughs> Elliott back in. Three point attempt, no good. Good rebound by Thomas. Leonard, one got dribble it. and a shoot, and he's got a three. Seven three point basket already, Jim. They can get him up. <laughs> Kautzer had it for a moment. Now they work it around to the other side. Diener jumps out on the defense. Shot is blocked by Hackbarth. His second block of the game. Waiting for him there and got a piece of it. This is the sheet I was looking for. All the good stats on there. Well, I wanted to see what uh, Hackbarth's free throw percentage was. He's hitting 71%. Whistle, I think we're going to get Leonard on the reach in. Second. Uh, yeah, Zach, second fall. 33 to 10. It's been all... Uh, Lutheran. 
which is kind of what we expected, right, Jim? Yeah, like you said, they're getting some threes up, but maybe not the greatest of shot selection. Hackbarth, in and out, right string, wrong yep. yo-yo. Shot right. is missed inside, but uh, cleaning up the uh, garbage was Zach Thomas. Good hustle play by him. Yeah, Jake going right in there. He, he likes going in and, you know, getting those up offensive rebounds and putbacks. Seems like a very athletic kid. Oh, yeah, he's good been in the weight room. Well. He's a football player, and he's been in the weight rooms probably since last, you know, yeah. last spring. More than and you and I, out. right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can tell. <laughs> In the corner is Kautzer, looking to take it to the hoop. Good defense by Luther. Yeah, they're flying at Kautzer right now. If he takes it to the hoop, they're going to go get him. Bannock had it on top and swings it over. Elliot Leipom with a three. Good ball movement, swung it around. Good things happen when you swing the ball, right? Timeout by uh, Christian. It's 38 to 10. 449 left. Uh, your dad, Ken's got to be pretty happy. He's <laughs> Mom and dad are over there. The one thing, uh, I don't know if I ever told you this, but I played, Ken went to Holy Name. Sure. I went to Holy Name. We had the same eighth grade basketball coach, Don Monenbach. His wife, Mary, would say her favorite all-time player at Holy Name was Ken Leipom. All right, I did not know that. <laughs> well, now you know. Yeah. Now you got something on your old man. I'll have to tell him, yeah. We, we found a great picture over the holidays of him playing at North, you know, playing a little dribble from the paper somewhere. And we're, why haven't we seen this picture? It's an awesome picture of our dad playing <laughs> All North, right. So. And then my mom's over there, too. This is probably one of her favorite days of the year here, playing Christian. You had mentioned this is the 104th game, and it looks like finally Lutheran is going to even it up. It is. It's 51-52 uh, in the series. And uh, Lutheran has won 11 in a row. Yeah, it's been uh, all Lutheran the last uh, bunch of games. Good tip. Vanek, or no, this is... Uh, Gerdakis. Gerdakis laying it up and in. Nolan Good hustles. pass by Thomas. And Nolan hustles, knocks, gets a little deflection, and then he gets up the court. Back in a trapping type defense at half court, but uh, Christian able to break that. Good feed inside by Zilstra, but uh, the shot attempt by uh, Rosenboom. Roseboom is uh, blocked, but a foul is called. Crusaders going with that 1 3 1 trap. Seeing what they can get off it. Like you said the other night against Kohler, they ran that after being unsuccessful on man. And then they slowed Kohler down with the 1-3-1. One, Roseboom, one. Uh, that was first free throw attempt by uh, Christian, and it uh, does not go in. Krieger back uh, in for Lutheran. I shouldn't and say Kelter. anything, but Roseboom hasn't made a free throw yet this season. Oh, let's get 0 him. for 13 now. He's getting to the line. That's a good thing. Yeah. There you saw it. There History it being made. <laughs> Krieger has it on top. Come on, Rock. Good kick out pass. Krieger, not the catch and shoot that time. There almost was. Three ball is good by Jake Thomas. He has five points. Jake getting the three. One, two, three, four, five different players have hit threes this half for uh, Lutheran. You're going to be pretty successful when you do that, right? Yeah, for sure. Open shot by Roseboom is good. A three ball. Ball tipped out of bounds. It's going to stay with, uh, oh, it's a foul. Foul being called on Roseboom. That's going to be his third. Five, six, five, six, five, six, five, six, five, 
And uh, Jamin checking out. Oh, this is an interesting setup. Yeah, let's see this is. Elliot Lipom, no good. Zilstra with the uh, rebound. And Atkinson had it for a minute on top. Camp Ferreno, uh, the Eagles' leading scorer, has hardly touched the ball. I don't remember him taking a shot. No, not yet. Moving the ball around. Yeah, and good recovery by Christian. And that shot by uh, Kautzer is up and in. That's a three ball. Nice shot Second three-pointer for uh, the Eagles. Kautzer has that nice shot. Yeah, that was a good release. If they can find him. Krieger off the glass and in. Made it look easy. Yeah, Krieger can do that. He, he can start hitting those threes, and all of a sudden he'll throw a throw fake and go to the hoop, keeping that defense on the uh, on their toes. He has eight points in the ball game. Atkinson with it down deep, but uh, has to bring it back out. Two minutes left in the first half. Lutheran and man, and then sending one guy to go trap. Yeah, Ferreno, a nice pass. Shot is blocked by Hackbart, but Zilstra able to get it and fires a nice pass and an easy basket for Keel. Good recovery by uh, Christian. Found him on that opposite block and got a hoop. Elliot Leipom, good release, just didn't want to go in. Lutheran back into their man-to-man -man defense. Good spin move by Ferreno, but the shot is blocked by Krieger. Right, have you noticed Ferreno take many shots? I mean, that's the first one I can remember I him so. shooting. Yeah. Nice spin. Own, yeah, only a minute left in the half. You know, you don't want that from your leading scorer. No. Yeah, he's got to get some shots. Running them along baseline. It's a good challenge for Krieger. It Put is, him yeah. on their high score. Shot is missed. Krieger, bango. He has 11 points in the first half. His third three-point basket. Oh. No foul called. Out of bounds. Just out of bounds, yes, sir. Jake I kind of like this, though. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like seeing a free throw fest. <laughs> Jake trying to take the jerk. Yeah, he did. Charge. He played really good defense. Yeah, he's straight up. Get Elliott a with a tip away. Uh -oh, Hackbart with a bust out. And a good steal by Keel. Three ball is good by Kautzer. That's what Kautzer did in that first game. He kept them around with his shooting. A good pass by Gerdaukas, but a foul is called before that. Lutheran will keep it. They'll get it out of bounds. Eric Wiesman giving you that shot. Good job, Eric. Down on the baseline. Slow getting it in, but uh, Hackbarth has it one on one. Looking, spins and shoots and is fouled. Noah Atkins is going to pick up the foul. That'll be his second. And that's the team's sixth. Only 14.9 seconds left in the half. Hackbarth, uh, two for three in the first half. Make it four for five. Pardon me, three for four. Nice bounce back for missing that first free yeah. throw. Making three in a row. Yeah, Hack can, Hack can put some ball, put the hoop in the ball on that free throw line and doesn't miss many. He gets to the hoop a lot too on his, yeah. on his, with his footwork that he has. 10 seconds. Give and go. Hackbarth in the, the way. 
five. Wellesley couldn't get the shot off. Krieger with a spin around. Oh, almost got it to go. It bounces off the back of the rim. And we're at halftime at uh, Sheboygan Lutheran with the uh, Crusaders up 50 to 22. If anyone knows the joy of rescuing animals, it's me. Just ask my rescues who are all very important members of my family. <laughs> Your life can also be forever changed by adopting a shelter pet. And it's not just about the happiness your pet gets from finding a loving home, but that which you'll get from bringing them into your life. The heroes at American Humane have been helping animals for more than 140 years. You can learn more at AmericanHumane.org. There is a road laid out for me. First night here, but Amy seems cool. <laughs> Leading down to the river. I am blind, but I need not see. What do you think? I know this road mm -hmm. is there for me. If I'm really free, take me down to the river and walk. My name is Teresa Barber. I was in the United States Navy, and I served overseas in the Middle East and Africa. Early on in my career, I had a commander that taught our suicide prevention training on a Friday afternoon, and the very next day, he took his own life. 90% of suicide attempts involving a gun are fatal. You don't know how much somebody can hide what's going on inside their head. Store your guns securely. Help stop suicide. Today, we face an unprecedented crisis. Tens of millions of refugees have been forced from their homes. But you can make a difference. Turn disruption and despair into hope and opportunity. Even small amounts make a big difference. Provide shelter, support, or jobs in your community. The more we understand, the greater sense of belonging we create. Act now. Visit supportcrisisrelief.org. I don't remember how it started. Go to that. Oh Our back and forth. It always came back. Dad! You probably don't remember what you told me. That was perfect. But I heard every word. The power of the knock is food. Your stew's delicious. I'm 88 years old, and I was with the ice capades when I was young. Now, being as old as I am, I lose balance. I don't like ending up this way, but what am I going to do? I got Meals on Wheels for the five years that I've been here. It's nice to know they come, and if you feel like talking, you can talk to them. I could talk for forever. They're totally a blessing. Turnaround shot is no good, but uh, can't quite get the rebound. We're a little late getting back here. Sorry about that. Uh, Got to get those PSAs in. <laughs> Halftime scoring. Uh, Lutheran was led by Brennan Hackbarth with 13. Andrew Krieger and Oliver Leipom chipped in with 11 each. Uh, leading the scoring for uh, Christian was uh, Josh Kautzer with eight. Their leading scorer, Cam Fereno, uh, no points. And to start. The uh, first half for uh, Lutheran was very productive in terms of three point baskets. They had 10 of them. And uh, from the free throw line, they made four out of five, all by Brennan Hackbarth. For uh, the Eagles of Christian High, they had three three-point baskets, and those three, I think, came within the last five minutes of the half. Yeah, they put a little uh, run together at the end of the half and see if they can cut it a little bit. 50 to 22 is the score. Elliot Leipom, nothing but the bottom of the net. He has six points on two three-point baskets. Came off that screen and popped it. 
Pass inside, the ball is tipped out of bounds. Sheboygan Christian will keep it. Let's see if they can get Kautzer into their offense here a little more. Thomas uh, tipped it away. Trying to get it into uh, Jackson Keel. Lutheran uh, in a man-to-man -man defense. Turnaround shot is no good by uh, Zilstra. He's got it again in the lane, trying to get it out. Can't, loses it. Krieger has Heck. it. Good deep by Hackbarth. And off the glass and in, and he's fouled. Andrew Krieger. Great body control, and then he can put it in the hoop. A good, good take by Andrew. Kautzer committing his first foul. Krieger's free throw is off. He's normally a pretty good free throw shooter. Hackbarth trying to kiss it off the glass, but uh, that shot was no good. Yeah, Andrew, don't miss uh, too many threes. Yeah, he came into tonight hitting 85%. Yeah. Good defense played by the uh, Crusaders. Not allowing uh, Christian to get many shots. Yeah, we're... Ball is gonna go on Krieger. <laughs> 55 to 22. Turn shot in the lane, just wouldn't go down for Kautzer. Hackbarth stopped on the baseline, kicks it out. Andrew, Elliot Andrew with the miss. Elliot with yep. the miss, pardon me. Nolan Gerdakis down on this other end playing counts are really tough. Keeping low, you know, staying on his feet. It's fun to watch. Remember those uh, live stream years uh, when Casey, Casey was playing here? Yeah. Uh, I think it was Juris was their stopper on defense. It was really good. Yeah, Jonah Juris. Oh, Jonah. Seems like nice spin move. Good block, though, by Kautzer and uh, Gerdaukas couldn't get the basket. Always seems like Verhagen's teams have that one defender. You know, they had Jonah Jerson and they had Robbie Michael. Good Robbie could just yeah. He was another shutdown kind of guy. Yep. And now I know it's Nolan time, and he's done a great job in the last two seasons. Shot 50. is blocked, and then Krieger on the second shot attempt by Ferrano commits the foul. And for uh, Andrew, that'll be his second. Good block on the first try. Cam Ferrano with an opportunity to score his first points of the night. Couldn't get that one to roll in. Cam only shooting 58% from the free throw line. And touched every part of the rim, but it went in. Got that one. It's been Lutheran all, all game. They uh, started strong and uh, continue that way. Pass inside, kick it back out. A little bit of a weave before they get it into uh, Hackbarth inside. He spins. Shot was blocked, gets it back, and there's a lot of hacking going on in there. <laughs> Hack's trying to hold his own down there. Atkinson playing the tough defense, trying to pull it away, but Thomas wasn't having it. It looks to me, Jim, like if Hackbarth could go to his right on the total spin back into the middle of the lane. He had a shot, but he keeps trying to go back the other way. Yeah, yeah. I think he reads where that defender is, and then he 
He spins. He, he'll go the other way, but I really like Brennan's uh, footwork when he gets down there. Brennan led all scorers in the first half with 13 points. Came up short on a couple of free throws there. It was a four for four to end the first half on his free throws. Crusaders in man to man. Keel has it on top, being guarded by Krieger. Andrew doing a good job. Two soccer players there. <laughs> Referee says that uh, Thomas, Jake was the last one to touch that. Leonard and uh, Oliver Lipom in the ball game. And a 30 second time called up, 30 second time out called by uh, Christian, we'll keep it here. Time out. You seeing anything Crusader, huh? Junior Crusader night here for at Lutheran High. So it's always fun getting the third grade through eighth grade uh, program in here and getting them to see a game. And a lot of them come to a lot of the games. But And then you look at this varsity team. All of them played Junior Crusaders. And now they're it just helps out your program. Oh, for sure. And you can see the. Christian's starting to do that. They're starting to get a little junior program going. Where in the past, I don't know how much they've done any Sometimes, junior Sometimes, and I don't know what, uh, are all your kids from the Lutheran school system, or do you pull some of the public school There's kids There's some in? public school, too. Yeah, Within the past couple of years, more and more from okay. the public school are checking out Lutheran. Yeah, I. the point I was trying to make was with that is that Christian may not have the numbers to yeah. support well, a program like that. Well, Christian's enrollment is starting to move up. Yep. Yeah, that's a good thing. Yeah. So that's why if you start seeing a little junior, a little junior eagle program, that should help um, help Coach Flipsy down the line. Uh, according to my notes, they're in Division Five at 131 okay. students in the school. Lutheran is at 206. Their numbers have been good. Krieger getting hacked there. Leonard puts it in. Why not? It's good shot by Zach. He didn't even think about that one. Zach Leonard with uh, two threes. That was the 12th three-point basket of the game by uh, the Crusaders. Cam Farina with a nice spin move but couldn't get the shot to go. But uh, Christian able to keep the possession. You want to tell that referee to move? He's blocking my view. <laughs> <laughs> Got the good camera angle here. Let's see if Luke can get a outside. rebound. Yeah, no good. And I think they're going to get Leonard on the over the back. Two offensive rebounds there for Christian. For Zach, that's his third foul. Birthday boy today, Zach Leonard. Yeah, Jonathan Engel's checking in. Sophomore, seeing his first action of the night, giving uh, Brock Zilstra a rest. Asa Diener in, and uh, checking back in is Jamin Roseboom for uh, the Eagles. Both teams using their bench a little bit. Hey, all the kids work hard. You yep. know, got to reward them once in a while. Yep. Diener trying to play the good defense and does inside. There's a banger down there. Weak side help. Turnover. Leonard on the push takes it right down Main Street. Then he has to kick it out and throws it out of bounds. Looked like the right idea. Yeah. I think Get it Oliver. In deep. I think Oliver thought he was going up with that. So did I. <laughs> Usually when he gets going down, <laughs> Zach uh, likes to put it, put it in the hoop. Uh, Got to catch the ball. Yep. Oliver lining it up and putting it in. 
Leipom with his 4-3, and he has 14 points. Oliver having another good night. Yeah. Works hard at his game, and luck. he's got the... Uh, By the way, got to give a shout-out to Holly. I left a message at school, and uh, she got it to you. <laughs> Thanks for helping out tonight. I had two games I was coaching, and I got home late last night. And then she's like, oh, by the way, call Marty, and he wants you to. <laughs> so I well, gave you a little text message did. late. Yeah. <laughs> I always enjoy doing this, so. Not as good as Chris. I'm not as good as Chris, but. Oh, all, anybody can to. replace him. No. <laughs> Shot is off, no good. Leonard trying to uh, get the possession, but couldn't. Krieger does, however. Good hustle by Andrew. Krieger with a catch and shoot, but couldn't get it in. And Diener again with a real fine hustle. Uh, unfortunately, he was the, uh, no, they're giving it back to uh, Lutheran. Timeout by the Crusaders. I think Asa was uh It's a 30 second timeout, so we'll keep it. I think Asa was a little surprised there too. <laughs> yeah, it was. I don't know about you. It was hard for me to tell who it went off of. Yeah. The I think the key point of the whole play was uh, Diener really hustling. Yeah, yeah, yep. That's what he does. He comes off the bench and he might not score a ton, but he gives that for Coach Verhagen that mm -hmm. effort on the defensive end. And against Kohler, he got some playing time against Kohler too. And it's just his the ball deflection and his hustle. Couple of guys I want to point out from uh, Christian is this Brock Zielstra. He's not in the ball game right now, but uh, boy, he plays hard. You know, big kid, and uh, he's a force inside. Yeah, he's uh, he's got that upper body, and he really goes to the hoop. And you mentioned numerous times Josh Kautzer. He had eight points in the first half, looking uh, to get him some points in the second. He's another really good player for this. Sophomore or junior for Christian? Yeah, junior. Trying to get. Brett Flipsy uh, asking about the last call, whether it was off of uh, Lutheran or Christian, and uh, the referees are going to talk about it. Hey, if you don't ask. Yeah, I think he's wondering if the refs didn't see it, then it should be a jump ball, right? Should be. We could go to the replay. <laughs> Come on, defense! No change. Lutheran will keep it. 61 to 23. There's 10:34 left in the ball game. Inside pass to uh, Hackbarth. He was not able to uh, control it. Leonard. Shot is off. No good. Hackbarth with the rebound. Oliver with a backdoor pass, but uh, losing it was Gerdaukas. Cam Ferrano with a three ball. He has four points in the game. First three of the game for him? Uh, for him, yes. Hackbar's shot was blocked, but he powers it up and in. Good his entry first pass points. there by Oliver. Yeah, I was gonna say his first points of the second half. Oh, nice move by uh, Keel, but he couldn't finish. And then we get a scrum. Dave Vanek checking in, and uh, Gradauk is uh, checking out. Looks like he might have got bumped pretty hard on that uh, okay. scrum on oh, the yeah, floor. Even after that ball. Christian has had those chances at right at the hoop, and they can't just. Yeah, there's another one. Yeah. <laughs> You're right on cue, Jim. <laughs> Panic kick out pass to Krieger. His three shot, three ball is off, no good. Cam Ferrano oh. on a scoop shot is uh, fouled. He'll be at the line. Foul on Leonard. 
Oh, Leonard, you know, for as much as he's played, <laughs> he's got four fouls. How do you do that? It's called hustle, right? Back in the day, <laughs> when I played eighth grade basketball, they put all the stats in the paper okay. for our league, yeah. And uh, there was a kid from Sheboygan Falls, I don't remember the name. We had five games in on our league season. Okay. He had 25 fouls. <laughs> Just plays aggressive basketball, right? And you're allowed five. <laughs> Doing too much talking over here. I missed if Farino made both of them, and he did. He got both. Christian going to trap now, half court trap. Atkinson uh, checking back in. Last time they did this, there was a three shot by Elliott. Get it. He was open, but he was pretty pretty deep. Inside feed to Hackbarth, shot no good. And the Eagles come away with it. Kielstra on a nice pass and a missed layup by Atkinson. Shot is blocked. And uh, Brett Flipsy is like, what in the world is going on? Just They've had bunnies. great looks. Yeah. Crusaders could work on some rebounding here in the second half. Silster with a three Get ball, it. no good. And Elliott, like Palm, with the rebound. Looks a lot like his mom. <laughs> see if he shoots like mom. shot oh. is off, no good. Look pure. Didn't go down. Krieger, no good. Hackbarth with a strong rebound. Put back is, uh, looked like it was blocked by Ferreno, but the uh, official calls a foul on Kautzer, his third. Hack going and get that thing Ooh, with two hands. Oh, that yeah. was impressive. <laughs> This is going to be the ninth free throw attempt by uh, Brennan Hackbarth. He does get to the line a lot. He does, yep. Like I said, he uses that body and he reads that defender really well. He's made six out of nine. Has 17 points in the ball game. Having a good game. Lucas Schulze into the game. All Number right, 10. Lucas. Good job. Lucas and I worked together this past summer. I think I talked to you. We saw, oh, yeah. saw you at the ballpark. Yep. Lucas uh, ran camera and uh, did a little bit of announcing with nice. me at the end. Nice I think he to wants see to him kind of get there. into some uh -huh. broadcasting. So what a better way than learn exactly. from Marty. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> <laughs> so you do Sheboygan A games too? Yes, okay. I enjoy that a lot. Okay. A bit outside, or? <laughs> <laughs> Atkinson is going to get called for the charge. They finally make a layup, and then it gets wiped out with a charging call. Ay, ay, ay. Jake Thomas taking the offensive foul there. I will say this, Jim. The last three summers, we've always, we the A's run an intern program for different things, a lot of it marketing and, and that kind of stuff. Okay. But one of the areas we've had people the last three summers has been college students that want to be announcers. Oh, so I've been awesome. working with them. I know Lucas really enjoys it. Nice block in the middle by Thomas. Hack getting up. Oliver with a good feed to Hackbarth. He gets hacked. He'll be going to the line shooting free throws. Good pass by Oliver. Good two shots there, the coaches. There's Flip. Season 27. Yeah. That's a long time to be coaching. Yeah, but he's one of the good good ones here in Sheboygan. You know, you think 27, that's a long time. And then you think back to Dessel, 39 yeah. years. <laughs> oh, cry. Yeah. I know and then there's that. Jerry Pettigrew down at Cuba City. He's, I think, over 50. Yep. Yeah, Desso did it for, what did you say, 39? Here in Sheboygan. Yeah. 50, come on, 
That's awesome. I don't think I don't think that counts the few years he was at Milwaukee Madison coaching J V basketball. Okay. I think that's just varsity. Okay. Good defense by Lucas. Getting right on top of that uh, player. Uh, good cut made by Keel. He got Leonard. the pass inside and then was fouled. And that's going to be five for Leonard. Birthday boy gets an early exit. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Jackson Keel at the line. Uh, Jackson's one of the uh, soccer players. Coming into the ball game, Jackson was shooting 60% on his free throws. He's got nice form at the line. Put that second one in. Good athlete. Yep. Oliver almost caught in the corner, but did a good job of getting it out of there. Dumped down inside to Krieger, but uh, you're going to get a push on Roseboom. And that's his fifth. Oh, five on. Atkinson in for him. Now we got a 38 point deficit and yeah. we got people fouling out. How does that <laughs> happen? Hit it, Jake. Jake's shot is off, no good. Schultz with the rebound. Way to go, Lucas. Krieger to Leipam. Ali looking for the outside shot, dumps it inside to Hackbarth again. Off the glass, no good. And then we're gonna get Thomas, I believe, with the foul. Pushed him. Rock, go jump. Go jump. A little push on Jake. Bonus on the uh, what? Rest of the game. Yep. <laughs> the referees were trying so hard not to get in the bonus, and they just couldn't pull it off. I used to umpire Jim. Okay. And I would be in the parking lot before the game with my partner and figure out, well, Marty's doing the play tonight. And I would tell him, you know my goal? Nobody walks. <laughs> Turnover. Layup is up and in by Keel. Keel with seven points in the ball game. Nice game. Good pass to Schulze. Lucas. His layup is up and in. There's her partner there. There Lucas. we go, Lucas. Crowd favored here. Great pass. Three ball by Key, uh, pardon me, that was by Kautzer is no good. And then we get a foul inside. Lucas. Lucas on the foul. Atkinson just had uh, an attempt from the line and uh, couldn't get it in. Maybe get this one, nope. Hackbarth with another rebound. He's got uh, pretty many of those tonight. Yeah, he gets above the rim. Christian picking up with some pressure. Schulze with a three. Oh my. Woo. Looking good. Another three ball by uh, the Crusaders. What do we 10 got? in the first half, 11, 12, 13. 14 in the game. I'm the stat man for the Lutheran Crusaders, and their most uh, three pointers in one game is 18. So, a bunch of subs coming in. Yeah. Devin Mentink coming in for the first time. We've seen uh, Vanek and Gerdaukas and Diener. And Elliot Leipom. He's got his, uh, looks like, let's see. looks like he's got his senior group out there right now. All seniors for Sheboygan Lutheran. Noah Atkins make, making his first free throw. Has three points in a game, and he makes this one too. Four points for Noah in the ball game. 
Good job of getting back by the Eagles. Gerdaukas looking, kicks it back out inside to Mentic. Looks like a zone defense by uh, Christian. Left-handed three basket Dave, is by Dave Vanek. Dave Vanek. Good shot by him. You're asking about him during halftime, and look at it. Yeah, he's Finds a shooter. Him in the corner. Yep. You can't con you can't stop him. You can only hope to contain him. Right. Two two corner threes there by the Crusaders. Ball was tipped away, but uh, able to get it back was Gerdaukas. Elliott Leipalm, he's back in action. Elliott with his third three of the game, he has nine. Cole Klapperlich coming in along with uh, number 24. I don't have him on my list. Marion Boyland. 32, yep. In the ball game, number 32. Maybe that number 24 was uh, Jacob Phil for uh, Christian that I saw. Yeah, yep. Perano's three shot is no good. Diener with the rebound, kicks it down. Layup is oh. blocked. Klapperich. Had his shot blocked, but he's going to go to the free throw line and shoot a couple of free throws. So Cole with a chance to get in the scoring column. Got ahead of the game there and tried to go for the hoop. You know the best part about Cole? He's a left-hander. Yeah, like the lefties. We do. Now is his first free throw attempt of the uh, season. Oh. There it is. What do we got? We got six threes the second half, did you say? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six okay. yes. Two and a half minutes left. Good, oh, good spin take. move by Pereno, and he couldn't get the layup to go again, and then he does get the foul on the rebound. But, uh, oh, my. Nice spin move, and then, like, again, he just, they, they just not finishing it at the rim. Exactly. Just not finishing. <laughs> defense, the Crusaders are playing good defense on him. What has he got? Uh, six uh, points. Six points only. Yeah, great job out of and two team of those. effort. If it's Krieger, and no longer Dawkins, Jake Thomas. Good job tonight. Only made four out of six free throws. He only has one basket. Good trap there. Ball was tipped away, and then Vanek able to get it back and almost threw it away. Vanek again. The left-hander makes another basket. They need one more to tie the record of 18 threes in, From in a ball game. 2014, yeah. When Jake, was Jake Durst was on that team from uh, 14, yeah. I think Jersey I remember had 10 of those. He, uh, he told us that he, in a timeout at the end of the game, he drew up a little play for his brother to get the three, and he made it. <laughs> yeah. But then he came right back and Kate scored another three. Yep. He said he wasn't supposed to break my record, <laughs> yeah, only yeah. tie it. So Jonah got 11, yeah. That shot is up and in by Jackson Keel. Three basket, three ball. 44 seconds left. Inside, Mentic scores! Good luck by Dave Mentic. What a pass, huh? Big country there, yep. Probably the best part about that is he didn't kick it out to a three-point shooter. Yeah. <laughs> a steal, Klapperick. I'll go for the dunk. It just lays it in. Good move by Cole. <laughs> Ten well, seconds. Well, Marty, thanks for asking me. This is fun. Yeah, you wanna you wanna do a post game interview? Let's do it. Let's go find a couple of the good fellas. Okay. Why don't you do that right now? Okay. Go on, head over there. I'll go find. 
That's the final, 86 to 37. Lutheran a winner. And uh, Jim is gonna go and see if he can get a couple of the uh, players from uh, Lutheran and uh, we'll do a little post game interview and uh, wrap this ball game up. But for now, Scott, let's take us to a commercial break and you see our final there, Lutheran wins again. the national parks and no matter who you are or where you come from the parks are you too the great thing about a hearing check no one makes you drink weird stuff or drills your teeth or dilates your eyes it's just soothing me time in a quiet booth then bam you can do the happy dance because you're all done Untreated hearing loss puts you at greater risk for depression and anxiety. So, what's holding you back? Let's see a hearing professional and get those ears checked. And let's dance. People couldn't see my potential, so I had to show them. I've run this place for 20 years, but I still need to prove that I'm more than what you see on paper. I'm the CEO of my own company. It's the way my mind works. I have a very mechanical brain. Why are we not rethinking this? I am more. I'm more than, than who I am on paper. We're back at South High School. We're back at Taylor Field. Back at Lutheran High School. We're back at Ebbets Field. And we're back at North High School. Local sports production is back on WSCS. Watch the action of Sheboygan student-athletes on Spectrum Cable Channel 990, online at WSCSSheboygan.com, or streaming on Roku and Apple TV. Sheboygan's community station, WSCS, is focused on Sheboygan. Don't go too far from your TV sets when we come back. When I was in foster care, I never knew when I would have to move, so I always had my suitcase ready to go. Then one day, I was adopted. My new parents opened their hearts and home to me. My parents cook my favorite breakfast for me every morning. My parents take me on trips I never thought I would go on. They gave me a home and an even better reason to use that suitcase. My parents aren't perfect, but they're perfect for me. We're all just trying to keep things running for those who rely on us. That's why we don't have time to be sick with the flu. We don't have time for delays. We don't have time for spells. Next. We don't have time for setbacks. Let's be real. Getting the flu shot helps you fight the flu. Get a flu shot for yourself and those around you, too. A black woman on the flow receives a female flood watch text alert, then texts her family in a group chat. Anyone see that weather alert? We need a plan to stay safe, especially after last year. Ready has a list of resources at ready.gov slash plan that sends a phone of emergency supplies and texts. Looks like we need flashlights and batteries. Brandon replies, I got us covered. Mom texts, I'll check in with your flashlights. You are the national parks, and no matter who you are or where you come from, the parks are you too. We're back here at Lutheran High, surrounded by some of the uh, Crusader players. All of these kids have made threes in, in uh, tonight's game. Lutheran, a uh, big winner, 86 to 37. Jim, why don't you take the two kids on your side, talk a little three-point shooting. Records 18, we've got 17. You guys did a great job shooting. 
against Sheboygan Christian. Andrew, let us just know how did, how did it feel tonight shooting that ball? Oh, well, you know, you start off and you hit a couple and it feels good. And then, I mean, when you see your teammates start hitting them, then that's when everyone starts, you know, feeding off each other's energy. Yeah, I thought you guys did a great job moving the ball. Zach, where did uh, you're moving the ball? Like, hey, you and Oliver come off that bench and you bring that little energy. Just to explain what you guys do coming off that bench. We come off the bench and we try to score as much as we can, keep the team going, start the game. That's about it. You guys do a great job. Over on this side, we got the Lifon brothers. Uh, Elliot, since you're the senior, we'll go to you first. Uh, talk to me a little bit about your your thinking on three-point shooting. Are you always looking for that? Yeah, I mean it's kind of my it's kind of my job, and obviously it's not just one of us standing here. It's all four of us, and uh, we're all looking for that shot. Um, so yeah. Oliver, uh, we were over at uh, Kohler the other night. Watched you play. Had a lot of threes there. Had a lot of threes tonight. But what impressed me the most at Kohler, especially taking it down in there among the big guys. Talk a little bit about your three-point shooting and your driving. Well, the three-point shooting I've been hitting well lately, or before, the last two games, but now I finally figured out how to hit them. And then the uh, driving, uh, color game, I was just driving and it was wide open, so I'm like, why not take it? Zach, I heard it was your birthday today. Happy birthday. Were you celebrating by fouling out tonight? Was that the idea? <laughs> no. You want to make gonna, sure you get used all those fouls tonight. Yeah. Are you going to hear something from your old man when you get home? <laughs> hey, you guys, you guys get a good comeback win after losing a tough one against Kohler. Maybe just explain a little bit about that, Andrew, a comeback game against a cross Iowa rival. Yeah, this was, a, this was a game that we needed after dropping that one to Kohler, which stinks. But, you know, we rallied together and came out strong tonight. Alec, you get the last word amongst the players here. Talk about the win tonight. Yeah, like Andrew said, it felt good. Um, we got a big one coming up Saturday and then another big one coming up uh, Tuesday, I believe. So uh, it's just preparing and always uh, looking one game ahead. All right, good, great job, guys. Great game tonight. Uh, Jim, thanks for coming. Or you're not, you are going to be here no matter what, but thanks for helping me <laughs> you out You bet, tonight. anytime. Uh, WSCS's next game will be this Saturday when uh, Sheboygan North travels to South for the second North-South game. Until then, thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you down the road. Thank you.